All right, gentlemen, the Kaduna State government has filed fresh charges against uh, the island leader Ibrahim Erzazaki again. What does the Kaduna State government want? Many Nigerians may be asking. I think it's just grandstanding. I've, I've, I, I believe that there should be a law saying that any government official, Nigerian government official, that initiates prosecution or initiates any matter that is found to be frivolous, should pay for it, should, put, should be put on trial, should, pay, should face some sanctions, that is one. Secondly, the court found out that there was no case against the government. Mm. You couldn't have enacted uh, a law in 2018 mm -hmm. for something allegedly done in 2015. You cannot, you know, this was one of the problems that uh, Buhari had as military head of state, you know, carrying out retroactive actions. Now, again, they should take cognizance of the fact, you know, the case of Abba Jalingo, a journalist, mm -hmm. you know, publisher of Cross River Watch. Mm -hmm. Remember how the Cross River State Government, the same charges, reasonable mm -hmm. finally, mm -hmm. all of that, and all of that. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, the matter went to the Ecowas Court, and the court granted him 30 million dollar damage that the government should pay 30 million dollar damages to Abba Jalingo within three months. We are still in July, the same July, this is July 31. Mm -hmm. So, we are waiting to see in three months how they will comply with it. So if they have not learned any lessons from the issue of Agba Jalingo, I think maybe they should also prepare maybe 30 million or 50 million or more mm. for in this matter. Because you see, they should realize that you cannot continue to hound a citizen on frivolous charges just because mm. certain people feel they wield power in government and then you know, they can do what they like, they can do and not do. You cannot do that. All right. Uh, uh, they, um, uh, for me, I, when they're filing new charges... Because they, a, a, a lot of, a lot of uh, I mean, some schools of thoughts uh, believe that in the long run, um, this might be very, very damaging for Nigeria. I mean, some people look at how Boko Haram started in 20 or 2009, they say we just started as a group. Uh, uh, you know, people uh, yeah, and yeah, then, no, that, that, so, so some people think that look, if this continues, if it continues this way, a particular s uh, set of people might be nothing. No, let, let's let's give it to the let's give it to the, and, let's give it to the share share movement. Um, in recent times, they've comported and carried out the activities with so much civility, and that um, I'm impressed. But for me, I I don't know what I don't know. Maybe these new grounds, uh, new new charges. Were, were committed while he was in prison because uh, uh, Ezekiel has been in prison for the past four years. I don't know which new grounds the Kaduna State government is charging him to court with. It's just going to amount to, I'm not trying to be subjudicial, preempting the court, but it's going to amount to a waste of judicial time. And I think um, there's a need for Kaduna State government to be heavily sanctioned by the court. And the good thing about it is this Ezekiel can counter sue. And it can serve my choice of what mm. sue their you know, that through the tower and get every compensation. Because why? What is this? The court has um I I think I think it's somebody um, that is perpetually drunk on um popularity contest and he wants okay. to just become you, you, I mean, because, you have not been able to prove a matter in six years. Okay. You, uh, and I know, you have I know, I know. So, so, there's another fantastic thing. Yes, there's let, 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 some let, of the let, let's take a, a feedback here from um, Bolu Madin Burning Kebi says, I am on the same page with the court's decision to set Azazaki and his wife free after having been in government incarceration for over five years, an experience I consider to be an enough punishment for him. However, the fact still remains that the activities of the Islamic sect he leads constitute a big threat to public peace and tranquility. But rather than pre uh, prefer fresh charges against the man, I call on the government to just proscribe the movement and place Ezazaki himself under constant security surveillance. Uh, Bolo Made from Benin Kebi it's says... It's fantastic, but because it is... Um, is um, uh, it's, it's, it's because it's Ezazaki, because it's Ezazaki, let me tell you, maybe another government, but because it's Ezazaki and it's this government, and where it comes from, I say this because of antecedents of this government, it will not be proscribed. That I am in, and you know, it's, it's uh, for me, the, the, you know, there's section 35 or 37 of never, the never say never no this government will not never never say government. Never. this government will not <laughs> um, um, there's section 35 or 37 of the constitution that says you cannot be tried 
for the same yeah, case. Double jeopardy. This is yes, double jeopardy. Yes, first of all, double jeopardy. Wait, you wait. cannot. Wait. What, what are you bringing against? What, what is the first okay, charge? You said culpable <laughs> homicide. <laughs> they, you know, they, <laughs> I think I, they should I, always well, think. They should always think judicial time. Mm. Because Kaduna State has security challenges. They have more serious challenges than, you know. Else exactly. Mm. I mean, they've been kidnapping this very recently. Yeah, they should, they should, and all of that. They should, they, they, there are still some of their citizens in captivity. Mm. They should Even channel students. their resources. The resources are the resources. They should take it there to rescue, rescue those guys. Students and stop all this. Uh, well, gentlemen, that, that's a good place uh, to leave it. We'd like to thank you most kindly for your thoughts on the program this afternoon.